How do you improve your paraglider control? What moves make you really stand out? I've collected the most important skills for you to master in the secrets of paraglider control. When I see pilots nailing these 10 things, I know they are mastering their wing control. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to teach that YouTube AI that paragliding skills are very important. Subscribing also puts you in line for my monthly prize draw when you comment on any video on Fly With Greg. Want to get really good wing control? Launching in three, two, one. On the launch site, you'll see pilots holding the brakes and watching the wing. You want to change this to holding the rear risers and watching the gusts and timing your launch to coincide with a good phase of the wind coming up the slope. In the pull up, you'll see pilots getting plucked and dumped. You want to change this to running back towards the wing as you pull it up to control that power. In launching, you'll see pilots running upright on their tippy toes, getting lifted, not in control. You want to change that to the control stance, leaning through the risers, getting a low center of gravity, and having good contact with the ground and power that gives you a clean launch. In flying, you'll see pilots balancing on the brakes, using their brake hands to balance themselves in their seat. You will want to change this to making your hands independent of your body. Your hands are in control of the wing, your body can move to balance out in your harness. In thermaling, you'll see pilots doing wide turns and following the advice of waiting for three seconds before turning in a thermal. You want to change this to turning tight, leaning first, putting in enough brake, keeping the glider around in a really tight circle without spinning it. That's the trick. Learn that control, controlling your speed and energy so that you can turn your wing really tight. In turbulence, you'll see pilots pitching and rolling. You want to change that to flying actively, controlling the surges of your glider and moving with the wing to level it out so that you're in control and your wing is kept in that sweet spot overhead, calm and smooth through the air. In gliding, you'll see pilots making security jabs on the brakes to try and hold the wing back through every little bump. You want to change that to flying accelerated, hands on the back risers, controlling with minimal input and riding on the speed bar to control the pitch through active air to give you a higher speed and a cleaner glide. In landings, you'll see pilots overshooting their landing field. You want to change that to having an effective landing setup so that you're coming in to the spot. In flares, you'll see pilots coming in with not enough speed. You want to change that to having a swoop flare coming in fast, a nice pendulum, a good round out, and a gentle touchdown. In wind, you'll see pilots landing and getting dragged on the brakes. You want to change that to having a kill technique that you know exactly what you're going to do before you come in and you've practiced 
your killing technique so that that wing goes to the ground and stops pulling you instantly. Learn more about all of this on flywithgreg.com. I'm condensing a lifetime of paragliding experience into one amazing course for you. And to demonstrate the value, here's the first lesson for free. Get on the leading edge with access to all the latest lessons. There's already over 20 hours of instructional videos focused on helping you progress as a pilot. So you can start the learning right now. This will take your piloting to another level. Come and join my formation on flywithgreg.com. Here, can I still do the A's? Then brakes. Look at the wing. <laughs>